Hey guys, it's Zane, and today I want to show you guys this custom Lego maintenance boom truck with trailer for carrying a large, large spools of wire. Let's get started. So the truck itself is, the front cab at least, is based off the LEGO City 2014 set from the Great Vehicle Series Light Repair Truck. In fact, arguably, this is probably just the equivalent of a mocked up version of that same truck, to be completely honest. I wouldn't disagree if someone called it that. This is based around a lot of trucks that I've seen, like several that my city owns, and many that I've seen throughout time, just from different things, like just a huge culmination together. Let's take a look in closer detail. Now with the truck cab being based up the Lego set, I don't really think it's worth much of a look. I mean, there it is if you really care. Now the rear is a bit more of an interesting area. It's really, this was one of my early days of simulating equipment compartments, I'm making air quotes here. And so there's no actual handles, and it's just brick built. And I put clips on the outside for a standard six-piece full set. This is one of the older ones where you got an oil can, you got an open, open size hex wrench, you have a closed hex wrench, and then on the other side, and then the other part of the toolkit, you get a screwdriver, a small hammer, and a cordless drill that has no simulated battery, just a drill. I don't know. It, I still had like the city mentality where you put clips and you put stuff on clips on the outside of everything. It's kind of a different time. It tells you how old this mock is actually. But yeah, those are the sides of the of the rear. There's nothing too much going on with those. Definitely, those definitely could use some help for future iterations. Now the rear of the truck is fairly plain and simple, but I did try to simulate like I, on real trucks I've seen. There's like a little back railing slash support element for the bot for the bucket. There's a small space that people can walk up into. Obviously not realistic for many fixed scales, it's way too skinny. But I did try to simulate that. Also in the back of this truck there is some cones and then I threw the two, one of the light, spare light bulbs that was from the actual set. So that's just kind of hanging out in there. Nothing too special about it. Now the boom lift is a design I've used before. Actually this was the first generation of it, the first mock I built with this system. But it's this, the second one I'm showing you guys that uses this. So it's a Technic based arm, and there is a click, there's the click hinge attached in this guy, and then it's Technic joints for everything else. It can go pretty tall, and I did horrible framing on that. Let me see if I can adjust that. Sorry. Yep, there we go. Anyways, yeah, it can go pretty tall within reason. You'd probably keep it a bit more of a realistic angle like that or whatever, but again, it's pretty tall. It's 360 degrees, gives you pretty good range of motion. Of course, you need to keep your bucket level and stuff, but yeah, in general, it is design I've liked thus far. I think it can definitely be improved, but it's probably not the worst thing I've ever done. I actually fairly like it and still impressed with it even to this day. Now, the trailer here is nothing too special. I just built a basic frame to hold these reels from the 2016 cargo train. I can't actually remember when LEGO released that. This is actually the only remaining element from that set. It's still in one piece. Again, you can see the frame is very simple. One design challenge I actually ran into is because of the reel. In the normal, these trailers actually don't have a solid axle underneath. The, re the, the drum sits down inside in between the two tires. And I tried to simulate that. I did this. And so I had to carefully, precariously do this design so that there'd be enough room. I think it'd be really fun to try to make one that has the, you know, the, that has no axle through it and, you know, get the drum, like, basically next to the ground. Also, this drum is way too oversized for the, this truck. I mean, there is no way that a cable drum is normally that big. But I used it, so that's what I went with. So yeah, that's the trailer. Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys all enjoyed the showcase. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to like if you do, comment any thoughts, and subscribe if you want to see more. Anyways, happy building, and bye for now.